nigga out the group called me. <laughs> Not gonna work, nigga. Apologize, nigga, and then I'll leave you alone, nigga. Because that's all you had to do the first time. That's what's wrong with some of you beta male niggas. You, you think it's weak to apologize to a man, you punk. I apologize all the time, nigga. I don't know why I went outside of a nigga respect. As long as you let me get in line with your respect, we good, nigga. So what the fuck is you talking about? You niggas just crash out because you crash dummy. Soon as a motherfucker step on your sensitive ass shoe. Soon as a motherfucker do anything with your little punk ass, you ready to flash off on a nigga. But a white boy can slap the fuck out you, say it's hot, white boy summer, all kind of shit. Kick you in the ass and all you gonna do is cry, nigga. <laughs> I can't touch the white boy, I'm gonna get a life sentence. Punk motherfucker. You'll kill a nigga in a minute, won't you? Crash dummy motherfucker. You done taught our culture a bunch of dumb shit. You niggas taught our culture a bunch of dumb shit. Kill, rob, shoot a nigga. Sing it in every song. You punk motherfuckers won't say shit in a song about no other race. You made it okay to say kill black boys every day in a goddamn song and then turn right back around and holler about, oh, they killing us. You stupid motherfucker. How, how about you clean up your tongue, you punk bitch? How about you clean up your tongue? Yeah. But I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. Because you're going to practice what the white boys tell you to preach. And I'm going to practice this real man shit. So I'm going to let you niggas get to your destruction. And I'm going to get to my building. Bye, bitches. We joking, remember? Remember, the first thing I asked you, boy, when I asked you to respect me, you said we was joking. And you don't need no motherfucking permission. Remember you said that to me, boy? You didn't know you fucked up when you said that, did you? <laughs> I asked you nicely. And even if you apologize now, I always give a man a room to apologize. And you can go on with your show. And you can fake like you want all the smoke. But I think you know now, boy. You leave this here, boy. This Geechee boy alone, don't you? You have a nice day. Miss, Miss Hill, please don't do that no more. Please don't lie on me like that no more. My mama in the ground, she dead and gone. But I got a few aunties that'll tell you how it is. Please don't do that, ma'am. I got a few aunties that'll tell you, hey, lady, by definition, you're wrong. And they might not say lady. Because I know how y'all women like to jump in rooms with men and then be so extra sensitive when a man tell you motherfucking wrong. So I'm going to find one of my cousins to tell you, you wrong, lady. Now, please stay in your lane. Don't do that. Bye-bye. Mama's cooking. Because when men are speaking, you ain't supposed to be saying nothing, ma'am. Oh, did I say that? Yes, the fuck I did. You ain't got nothing to do with two brothers talking and figuring out their issues as men. The only thing you can do, ma'am, by adding in your two cents is fan the flames. So please hush with all due respect. You don't know what you're talking about. Got too many of you ladies jumping in lanes you ain't got nothing to do with. You let them goddamn beta males stand up for themselves. Ain't nothing wrong about nobody. Jack is proof that he's a jackass. Back, destroy, and talk down on black men. Because the first thing he can do is attack me as a basketball. The shit that I'm talking about is such a mental a level above him that he's too stupid to see that he shank, he's sinking his own motherfucking shit. See, that what happened when you were beta male and you all, you can sink your own shit like that. Calm your little punk ass down, boy. Fuck you talking about. You talking about putting on a man and that, that go that move around this world the way he fucking want to move that stay quiet and don't say nothing to nobody nigga i was out here cutting my own grab punk don't you ever talk about me like that boy watch your motherfucking mouth do you own a tractor jack you pretty car pretty she wearing motherfucker i can't tell if you a male model a basketball player or active i don't know what the fuck your little vain ass is <laughs> You talking about a nigga with a tractor, nigga. Look at my baby over there, nigga. Yeah, this my land, punk. Yeah, you see that, boy? That's my tractor, boy. Yeah, you don't know shit about that. Yeah. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Better watch your motherfucking mouth.
I keep telling you niggas that. And that's not an attack. Remember, Jack, we're joking. Stupid motherfucker. Hold on, I'll be back. Yeah, it's on there now. I'm on it now. Yeah, my son said, get him, daddy. <laughs> I'm glad you something, daddy. Get him. Yeah, I'm going to show my boy how to sit back and be quiet and don't overreact. You wait till them motherfucker walk into this quicksand. Murray, we got to do it. I got to be in your next video, Murray. Uh, quicksand. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to South. Uh, what are you at? Fayetteville, North Carolina? That's how you piece up. I like that goddamn song. Because these niggas done stepped in that quicksand more right. They damn sure did. <laughs> Geechee, stand up. You done stepped in that quicksand. But the more I keep telling you niggas to shut your goddamn mouth. See, you never had a man in your life, Jack. And I know that little beta male, uh, light-skinned, emotional nigga, he ain't never had no man. That's why he hanging with too many men. You niggas ain't never had no man. See, I had men around me that done told me as a boy, you need to shut your goddamn mouth. So it didn't make me overreact when a man tell me to shut the fuck up. See, you little niggas think you're tough. So a man told you and asked you nicely at first, and you ain't want to listen. Now I'm telling you to shut your goddamn mouth. And you probably still don't want to listen. But hey, <laughs> don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I didn't tell you, Miss Hill. And Jack, don't say I didn't tell you. And Becky with the good hair, I warned your motherfucking ass. Boy, you jumped all the way out there. And now you done embarrass yourself, boy. You done embarrass yourself. I told you niggas, I warned you niggas that this is quicksand, boy. And you kept running your motherfucking mouth. So don't be mad. You did it to yourself. Fuck you talking about listening to all this shit this stupid motherfucker say. That, this just proves that half you motherfuckers are idiots. Not you people on here, because I like you motherfuckers. You here watching. But you stupid vain motherfucker that they put a little money in your pocket. And you start thinking you better than somebody, boy. <laughs> the nigga that wasn't saying nothing just exposed you niggas. The nigga that you claim need to be put on <laughs> just put you niggas off. <laughs> Ouchie! Yeah. I'm my mama's son, boy. You niggas done fucked up. Put my mama cooking all over you niggas' ass. Fuck you talking about. You niggas think running your mouth and jumping up talking all the goddamn time mean strength. No, you imagine how strong a motherfucker got to be that he been in a situation this whole time that he know he can't win, that you motherfuckers don't want to hear shit about the truth. You niggas been trained out of the goddamn truth. You niggas been trained for who you like show. So you think I'm dumb enough to say something about somebody you motherfuckers like? <laughs> now there's no little boy. I'm a man now. I'm a man now. And I see a bunch of little boys that's being trained, trained minions, thinking they tough, peacocking. Men don't do that, nigga. Men don't do that, peacocking, talk all that goddamn shit. Fuck you, nigga, think you is. You want to try to stand on a nigga's shoulder, and then you nigga so stupid, you doing that shit in front of white people, boy. White lady come on your show, you nigga fold up like tissue paper, cold switching like the ladies. So, uh, Matt Barnes, <laughs> what happened with you, between you and Kwame? You should have been a man and said, none of your business, not right here. This is national TV. I talked to that nigga. Since you claim you DM me, you lying little Manalo punk. You claim you DM me and then carry your punk ass on a national TV show and talk about me. You can't, boy, you little nigga, boy, it's easy to expose you nigga. All you got to do is give you dumb niggas a mic. Them niggas didn't bet your brain. They ain't got you for your brain. They got your dumb ass to sit up there and smoke uh, marijuana, be high as a motherfucker, because I smoke too. But you don't see me doing all that shit because it's an image, you dumb motherfucker. You know, some things are left for behind closed doors. Remember that? But see, you niggas so open. You niggas so open to anything. You'll do anything in front of anybody. Stupid motherfucker. Children supposed to be over here in this room, and adults supposed to be over here doing what the fuck they want to do. See, but they done merged you two stupid motherfucker. You carry your little drunk ass, dumb ass on TV, hide in the sun, bitch. Can't even think about what you're saying. 
Jack, you on there. I wouldn't give a bitch a back up. The fuck was you trying to say when somebody told you what to say, boy? You couldn't even get it out. I wouldn't give a bitch a back up. I told you, boy, you would give a bitch anything. Hell you.